Hi, pretty bird flock. How are you guys doing today? So, um, I don't really have anything special, but nonetheless, I have pretty bird. So I figured she's special in its uh, in herself, right? So here she is, like everybody loves, right, pretty bird? She's munching away on the grass today. Enjoying herself some outdoor time, right? Yeah. She met a whole lot of teenagers earlier, which kind of freaked her out a little bit because uh, they were so excited to see her that they all kind of surrounded her and all looked at her from and like we were all talking at the same time. So uh, she got a little nervous about that, but she did good. Look at her, see? She's taking a bath. See that? It always cracks me up. This is usually a sign that Pretty Bird needs a shower or a bath today. See that? <laughs> Are you in a tub? Oh, pretty! How silly is that? She's washing her wings. She's getting the water so she can wash her wings, see? <laughs> Oh, pretty. Good job. Yes, beautiful. Oh, gorgeous girl. You love it when she shows her wings. Yeah. Yes, beautiful. Are you a pretty bird? Of course. She says, yes, I am. Anyway, I don't know if I ever told everyone how pretty bird got her name. But just in case I hadn't, basically, because the little homestead or little farm that we got her from, because we didn't know which one of the geese was going to hatch out of that egg that was fertilizing, um, since we expected it to be just a random farm goose, um, we kept, you know, when you incubate a goose egg, what you have to do is every day for a period of time, you have to take them out of the incubator for them to actually cool down. Um, this is a progress process that ensures that you are incubating the egg as close as to its natural environment as possible as the mother will leave the egg for maybe 5 to 15 minutes a day to go quickly get a little bit to drink maybe take a few bites and um, then she'll return back to the eggs which gives them time to cool down a little bit well whenever we would do that um, we would we would candle the egg to um, to check on her progress and we would joke around about it we would say are you gonna be a pretty bird in there is that a pretty bird growing like we would just talk like we would talk about her and be like I bet she's gonna be a pretty bird you know and we didn't realize um, that as she developed she actually begun being able to hear us much like an infant is able to hear the mother and father talking through the stomach wall and um, especially once she uh, especially once she um, once she had broken through the air sac part inside of the egg because there's a part inside of the egg where there is oxygen and right before hatching they will break through that part and it will provide them with enough oxygen until they can create that first hole which is called they pipped so as she was in that oxygen area, we kept talking to her because she would talk back. This is when you can hear them chirping inside. Uh, we would be like, oh, pretty bird, are you going to come out soon? And then she would answer. She'd be like, tweet, tweet, you know. And after she hatched, finally, um, we were talking about naming her something. But we would still say things like, oh, she really is a pretty little bird, isn't she? But every time we'd say pretty bird, she'd answer and so we realized that us continuously saying i bet she's a really pretty bird like you know or like oh she's gonna be such a pretty bird like all these words continuously repeating the words pretty bird actually was part of the imprint for her recognizing the words pretty bird as being you know part of who she is or you know what we call her or how her, you know, parents, her family communicate. 
Are you okay? It's okay. Ah. It's okay, Mama. It's, it's okay. Pretty bird, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just teenagers being loud. Well, somewhat teenagers. <laughs> you know, preteens. What do they call nowadays? Tweens now? I don't know. I don't think I'm up to date on that. Anyways, so that's how Pretty Bird got her name. You know, we thought about uh, naming her Yasmin after uh, <laughs> after um, Chandler and Joey's little uh, waterfowl in, um, in Friends. So for all the Friends fans out there, we are Friends fans. Um, we, well, we enjoy Friends, uh, the shows still. And um, so... We tried that out for a while, but she just didn't react the same way, even though we tried to name for a while. And if we said Pretty Bird, she immediately responded. So it just kind of stuck. And that's how this young lady right here became Pretty Bird. Yeah, Pretty Bird. Pretty Bird. <laughs> are you hiding? Where are you? Where are you? Hi. Hi, baby. Are you getting your bow pretty? Are you getting pretty? Oh, pretty. Oh, pretty. Oh, pretty girl. Oh, yes, pretty, pretty. Oh, pretty, pretty. Oh, this is so cute when she does this. It's like the cutest thing. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, honey. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you for... Oh, thank you for pretties. Oh, thank you for pretties. Oh, thank you for pretties. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Good girl. Is that your brother? Is that your brother? Oh, there comes Dee Dee. You gonna bow? You gonna say hi? Alright. Yep. We're making a video. You wanna get some num nums? No eating shoes. Come on, get num nums. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Look, oh, Dee helping. Nom nom nom. Nom nom. See, now the family's eating grass. <laughs> nom nom. We're not cows, we're geese. <laughs> yep. The goose family, huh? It's okay, pretty. It's okay. All right, pretty bird. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. You're looking so pretty. You're looking so pretty. Nom, 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 nom. Come on. Oh, look at those. Oh, yummy. Oh, yummy. See, we encourage her to eat by, like, ripping on the grass. And I think that she believes that we're, like, ripping food. Like, that we found something. You know, it's kind of funny, actually, at home. Whenever I'm doing something, like, um, I don't know, sweeping something up or... I'm like going through a bag or something like that. Like she'll come over right away. Like, what did you find? <laughs> can I have some? <laughs> and my husband, he always kind of jokes around and he'll say like, can I has? <laughs> That's what she sounds like. Like she's saying, can I has? She's like, don't touch my tail. Anyways, pretty bird. Pretty bird. Can you say bye bye to your flock? Can you say bye bye? Say bye. Say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Oh, good girl. Yeah. Can you give a pretty bird one more time? Say big bird. Can you do big bird? Big bird. Big bird. Big bird. No big birds? <laughs> no big birds? Can mama have kisses then? Goose, goose. Can mama have kisses? Can mama have a kisses? Mama have a kisses? Mm. Mm. 
Ah. Thank you. All right, I'm pretty bird. <laughs> I don't know if I got it on camera, but bye, pretty bird. <laughs>